Back on the show, it's good to have Linda Burgess with us and Clifton Spears. They're the moderators for a candidates forum this week at Zion Hill uh, Church. Two forums, one Tuesday, one Thursday. Uh, good to have you all this, this morning. Good, good to, to be, be here. here. Okay, Clifton, we'll start with you. Tell us what's going to be happening Tuesday night and Thursday night at uh, Zion Hill. Well, we have two forums sponsored by the Zion Hill Church family. Right. Um, Pastor Joshua Joy Dara and the group is the small governmental group led by Herbert Dixon. Right. And the Forum Tuesday, we will have the um, candidates from the uh, fifth district Senate race, mm -hmm. the Third Circuit Court of Appeals, and the Public Service Commission from fourth the fourth district. Right, right. And it's an opportunity to come out and see where the candidates stand on the issues. Forum starts at six, and you have to submit your questions by writing. And we have a right. Yeah, I think a uh, there's an email address that pops up on the screen. Right. That you can submit submit your questions to. Right, and that's the only way you can get the questions in. There right. will be an opportunity for the audience to write in questions mm -hmm. um, at the forum, but we prefer that you send them in by the email. There you go. Good way for the community to get a last-minute look at the candidates, see where they stand with the election just around the corner now. Yeah, besides the presidential candidates who will send representatives mm -hmm. to the Tuesday forum, um, a lot of people on the down ballot are there, and you can see where they stand on issues specific to our community. Central Louisiana, we mm -hmm. kind of forget that there's a number of races uh, here in central Louisiana, in Louisiana overall. Yes. That's correct. Linda, y'all are y'all going to be the moderators. Looking forward to that part? Oh, yes. This is my first experience in moderating a candidate's forum, mm -hmm. so I am looking forward to it. Uh, I also want to emphasize the fact that early voting Starts will begin tomorrow, tomorrow right. up to November 1st. And, of course, uh, the election will be on, on uh, November 8th. Mm -hmm. So, November. yeah. And we also want you to know that there are six constitutional amendments on the ballot mm -hmm. and we will go over those on Thursday okay so um, there's it's so informative um, we want our community to have an informed vote right and we we don't want That's them important. to be complacent not thinking that their vote count but they their vote does count sure does every every vote counts every vote vote counts so mm -hmm. we're expecting a large turnout mm -hmm. because I know we have some very uh, inquisitive people here in <laughs> Rapids Parish. Not only are we asking Rapids Parish, but we're asking surrounding parishes mm -hmm. such as Avalls, Grants, LaSalle, and Calahula. So we're asking everybody to come out and, and get informed so that you can make the right form decision. Mm -hmm. And I think it's also important that you're going to touch on those constitutional yes. amendments. People kind of tend to forget about they those. They do, they do. But we will be touching on those. Right. And on the 27th, that would be our. Um, local candidates from Alexander City Council, and mm -hmm. we will go over the constitutional amendment. So that's an important form too. Great service uh, that y'all yeah. are providing. Again, it's Tuesday, Thursday night. It starts at six o'clock. Six o'clock night. At Zion Hill mm -hmm. Theater and the over Family Life Hill. Center. All right, Linda Clifton, thanks for coming by. Thank it's you for having me. And good luck as moderators. That thank can you. be entertaining. Thank you. More to come on our show. Stay with us.